Hello everyone, today I've got another cordless to look at. This one is from AEG and it's a CX7. I just want to come out of the box, there we go. Oh, come on. Oh, there we go, right. Let's have a look. We've got a big book of safety precautions. This must be a very dangerous vacuum. This is to activate your two year guarantee. Looks like a, I think that's just the, yes, yeah, so that's just the instructions for the additional tools that I think come with this machine. I hope they do. Now some very simple instructions. I'm not sure if there's anything else in here. Re-instructions. Right, so first thing out, is this is your wall mounted charging bracket. So also you get this stored in the charging bracket. It's a little dusting brush. Does that move? Oh yes, that comes off. It doesn't move up and down. So a crevice tool with a brush attachment and that lives in there. Put that to one side. Next out of the box, we've got the small motorized head, sort of medium soft brushes. So that will connect to the handheld. This is a handheld slash upright. It's a two in one type machine. So that's your little mini motorized head. And it looks like we can remove the brush roll easily if we need to clean it. Uh, right, this is the handle, but it is partly attached. So the handle, the whole cleaner is now going to have to come out. I'll just put it, put it to one side. And underneath we've got additional tools. This is handy to have. A flexible hose. This enables us, this is good for the car having a hose because often even smaller handheld vacuums can be a bit bulky to use in the car, but with a hose attachment, you can actually reach into all those tight spaces. So that's a handy addition. Then we've got a big crevice tool, full sized. That's a nice size crevice tool for your nooks and crannies. Here we have a stand that we can put the machine on. This doesn't go on the wall. This will free stand and charge. So that's good. This part will slot into the base and then you charge it on the base. I like that idea. It means if you're living in rental accommodation and you're not allowed to drill holes in the wall, you can still have this vacuum charging. It'll stand up in the corner next to a wall socket and you can charge it, lift it off the charger and use it. So I like that idea. Okay, we need to attach the handle now. Be careful because there is a cord inside that runs to the switch so you don't trap the cord when fitting the handle to the machine. There is also a screw so I'm going to have to undo that. Can I do it by hand? No. I'll have to get a screwdriver or I think you can fit a coin into that just to release that screw before you insert it into the main body of the cleaner. Managed to find a 20 pence piece. I was quite surprised. I had some coins in my wallet. So just to remove the screw. And then we need to carefully insert the handle into the cleaner. Again, just don't trap this cable. Just loop it up inside the handle. I'm surprised it's connected with the cable. I thought it might have had a plug to connect up the controls, but I didn't, didn't like the sound of that. I just want to make sure it's not trapped. I think that's in okay. And then we need to pop the screw back in. There we go. And tighten it by hand initially. At least we know we haven't got a cross thread. And then finish off with the coin. Is it going in? Is it gripping yet? It's gripping. Yeah, I can feel it gripping. That will do. I won't, won't over tighten. As long as it's holding it in place, that's fine. The machine 
yeah it doesn't really stand up on its own it might stand up on its own with the the main suction unit in yes it is freestanding although a little bit wobbly it'd be quite easy to knock over if you're not careful so this is the AG in upright mode for cleaning your carpets and hard floors very very light in the hand because most of the weight is lower down so if you struggle using cordless machines that have all the weight up top or the motor and the bag and everything or the bagless unit that's this is not going to be an issue it's very light in the hand and also once you switch the machine on it will stay on until either you turn it off or the battery runs down so this is the handheld unit so use it as an upright when you want to use it for handheld there's a button here press the button and release the handheld vacuum I'll turn it on because this is independent obviously so this has got a motor for the suction but there's also a motor in the brush headers as well so they're independent but they do obviously operate together when in upright mode I think the handheld just has a single speed there's only one switch What I'm going to do now is assemble the charging base. So here it is. Basically all we need to do by the looks of it is push it through. Let's make sure we don't trap the wire. Let's push that through into there. That's it. The wire goes in that little channel at the back. We can push it down. That's in place. So that's assembly. And then underneath we've got some storage so if you don't need to use the whole wire if you've got it right next to a socket any excess wire you can wrap around here it'll go in one way there's a little channel one channel and then you can pop the wire around as much as you want and then the rest of the wire, actually that goes in like that, that's it. There's another little slot. And then the wire comes out that way. So you can see it keeps it neat. And then pull out the rest of the wire, it should stand up on its own now. So I need to plug that in and charge it before I can actually do a proper demo of this. So first impressions, yeah, it's very light. Let's stand up. Yeah, it's almost weightless in the hand, but I can't do a proper clean until I've charged up the battery fully before the first use. So here's the base. You just need to slot the cleaner on the base like that. So it automatically makes contact. It's not going to charge until I plug it in. The battery status indicator on the handheld unit will pulsate until the machine is fully charged, which will take approximately four hours. Now that the AEG CX7 is fully charged, we can give it some dirt to eat. So I've got some black sand, which is disappearing into the pile, some red lentils and some rolled oats.
The AG did start to struggle a bit towards the end, but I'm not surprised because I've gone way, way over the max line, if there is one. Well, that is pretty full. I don't think I can suck up much more. I wonder if there's still much suction. Surprisingly, there is still some suction on this AEG vacuum cleaner. That is surprising. Let's uh, take this off now. Bit of muck inside. Yeah, not too bad though. This is where all the muck is, inside the bin. Let's release the filter, which I expect will be fairly dirty. So trouble with this type of machine, these pleated filter machines, they soon clog up. It's got a mesh screen that's trapped some bits. How does this come off? Should just come out actually. We do I have to rotate it? Forgotten now. It's a while folks since I made the unboxing video for this. <laughs> ah, well anyway. But it does show this filter being pulled off. Well, I'm just gonna have to, yeah, just push it in and do that. Right, so mesh, screen, bit dirty. I've picked up a lot of dirt in one go. You expect it to clog up pretty quickly. Used on a daily basis for crumbs and surface litter. It's not gonna clog up quite so quickly. Um, and here's the, looks not too bad. Ah, oh, but when I do that, I'm not sure if the camera can, can you see? <laughs> got dandruff it's got vacuum dandruff look so yeah the filter is washable. oh there's a lot the filter is washable uh, wash it rinse it under the tap leave it for 24 hours so you can wash the filter you can wash the mesh screen let's just pop it back in just pushes in up that's it goes in easier than it comes out and then we've got the dirt and that's pretty much the maximum I could have picked up. Surprisingly, there was still some suction, but yeah, I've I've gone way over the amount you really should be picking up with a machine of this type. Okay, with the canister emptied, we'll pop the filter back in. It's turned the oats into flour. So I've got oat flour. And that's what the fine particles are now and we can pop it on the unit we'll try it as a handheld shall we let's see it goes in that way click so in handheld mode we don't have a choice of suction i think the default is just maximum Well, this AEG has picked up all the surface dirt pretty quickly. It's not everything I put down. It's about half the quantity I put down when I was using this in upright mode. But yeah, it's done a fair job of the big bits. So if you've got crumbs, your toaster has decided to spill out its contents, or you've got kitty litter or dog kibble. I don't know any household that has dog kibble lying around because my dogs, if there's any food within reach, it's gone. It's not left for a vacuum cleaner to pick up, but maybe you have a fussy dog that just picks at, picks at their food. We'll try this nozzle, the mini motorized tool, quite soft brushes, but at least they rotate. We might get a bit more of the black sand up. So we'll just clip it on and see how the AG can perform on the rest of this dirt. That's not bad actually. There are a few bits of the black sand. I would have to go over it multiple times to remove it all. But 
It's got a lot more oomph than I expected it to have, to be honest, for a small handheld machine. And I think it's got a standard motor in it. It doesn't sound like it's a digital motor, pretty old school technology. But yeah, it's not too bad at all. We'll give the AEG another torture test by emptying out all this again. And we'll try the mini turbo nozzle or motorized head on this dirt. We'll leave it like that, I won't rub it in. And then, well, I better tap this off. Then I'm going to get some dog hair and we'll try the machine in upright mode on dog hair. And also, we'll try it with a mini motorized tool. See if it's effective at picking up some hairs. That's what we want to know if you're a pet owner. You want to know if the vacuum cleaner will pick up hairs. Right, on it goes. It's a nice, it's a nice, vacuum it feels nice in the hand it feels like it's you know quality compared to some of the chinese models i've handled it's it's a solid piece of kit it's not bad at all it's a shame it's got a bagless filter and messy emptying but if this did take a dust bag they would be tiny okay let's uh, give it a torture test and then we'll get some dog hair spread it out on the carpet and we'll test both nozzles Wow, that's amazing. Another clean sweep for the AEG. What? Yes, of course, I can't fool my canny viewers. You saw the snowplow. It managed to snowplow a lot of the dirt out of the shot of the camera. Thought it got away with it. You didn't get away with it. My viewers saw. So I'm going to have to be honest and show what you missed. Yes, folks, look, a line of shame. It's snow ploughed. It's quite a nice little neat line. So we could just take off this nozzle, use the crevice nozzle, which is here. Look, could use the crevice nozzle, couldn't we, for that? Or I could even attach the flexible hose, which I'm going to for this bit. But obviously, it was a lot of dirt. It's going to push it. A lot of nozzles to snow plough large particles of dirt. I could have just gone, well, we'll do a little bit. Watch. So yes, snow ploughing can be eliminated just by tilting the nozzle. Somebody pointed that out to me in a video. I thought, yes, <laughs> I do know. Right, let's attach the flexible hose. A flexible hose is something lacking with many cordless machines. It should be standard. Something like this should be standard with certainly premium cordless vacuums because, okay, they advertise them as being good for the car and parts of this is good for the car, but there are parts of the car it's very hard to reach into. I mean, with this AEG, we do have this super long crevice tool, which will reach, you know, in the sides, uh, down the sides of the seats, you know, maybe underneath the seats, where the gear stick is, etc. but it's still not giving you flexibility. Whereas the flexible hose, when it's attached, gives you fantastic flexibility. And because it's not a button you have to keep your finger on like some models you just turn it on you can just have it next to you and use the flexible hose to suck up the dirt you can even attach the crevice tool to the end of the flexible hose and suck out all the muck so yeah it certainly scores well for me this machine to include the flexible hose now how do I remove this from here <laughs> I think we have to do a little press action, or do we? No, it's just a bit stiff, folks. Just a bit stiff.
I managed to gather some hair together. I've got a bald dachshund downstairs now, but I'm sure it'll grow back eventually. Unlike my hair. Yes, you see, if I was a hairy gentleman, I would be putting my own hair down here for you to view, but no, most people want to clean up pet hair, don't they? And human hair, I suppose, but nobody in my household has a lot of hair. Not on their heads, anyway. Right, so, I've rubbed it in as much as I can. And we're going to try the AEG. Down one side, with the main motorised head, and then we'll try it with the mini motorised tool as well. And again, we'll just use, certainly with the main head, we'll go down to the lower setting. The mini motorised head, the default setting is the high suction setting, so I can't change that. Okay, let's try and pick up all this dog hair. Not a bad result at all. I would say the mini motorised tool did slightly better, but then the suction is a bit more concentrated and it was using the higher suction setting. With the main nozzle, I was on the lower setting, but there's still, there's a bit of hair left, which is being revealed as I push into the carpet. But on maximum, a couple more passes, that probably will go. And on the side with the mini motorised tool, yes, you can see it's it's really more or less picked up everything. So, oh no, it has revealed a little bit, but not as much as a full sized head. So in handheld and upright mode, this AG does a very respectable job of picking up pet hair. People who need to pick up hair, whether it be animal or human, want to know how easy the brush rolls are to clean or are they self-cleaning? Well, here's the results on the brushes of that hair <laughs> demonstration. And I'm afraid, although the motorised head did pick the hair up, probably a lot of it ended up wrapped around the brush roll. But it can be removed by opening up this. Taking the brush roll out. Ah, oh, that's, yeah, that is, that's pretty hairy, folks. That's pretty hairy. Now, with the main one, we can open this up. And remove it as well. There we go, open. This will take, come out. So, yes, mainly around the middle. What I'm going to do though is test out the hair wrap removal feature of this machine because there is a button we press and it's supposed to cut all this hair off. But before I do, I'm gonna put, take all the hair that's in the bin, remove the hair off this brush roll, put it back down, suck it all up in one go. So we've got a good test for the anti hair wrap removal system and we'll see if it actually works.
As you can see, picking up a large amount of dog hair in one go has resulted in a brush roll wrapped with dog hair. So let's see if the brush roll clean feature on this AEG actually works. Okay, let's turn it round. Oh, well, hmm. Not very successful. I'm wondering if I haven't done it for long enough. Mm, let's try it again. This time we'll see if we can see the brush roll clean in action and I'll film it from this view. Well, apart from spitting a bit more hair out, yes, it has actually worked and there was a lot of hair. So if you were to do this on a regular basis, every other use or so, or maybe just do it for a few seconds each time you've used the machine, just after you've used the machine to clean your home, just press on the brush roll clean and you should have a nice clean brush roll. Obviously, there's no need to do that unless you're picking up a lot of pet or human hair. So all in all, took a bit of time and was very noisy, but it did actually clean the entire brush roll. I've brought the AEG into the kitchen to test its performance on a hard floor. With this model, you can't turn the brush roll off for hard floor cleaning. We do have the option of the full maximum speed or the minimum setting. So I'm going to try it initially on minimum. Minimum on a hard floor, it should pick up mostly everything. It would be a very bad vacuum cleaner that can't clean up bits of dirt from a hard floor. So here goes, hopefully we can see the dirt and it's a light coloured floor and it's lightly coloured dirt. But it's the same dirt I've been using, black sand, red lentils and rolled oats. So it's going to start off, as I said, on the maximum speed, but I will lower it to the economy setting. Well, this AEG did pick up mostly everything on its minimum setting, although it was a little bit laborious. It wasn't the best at cleaning such a large amount of dirt from a hard floor, but it certainly wasn't the worst. I did boost to maximum just for the final part of the demo, which did help rather. But for general cleaning, when you're not cleaning up so much muck, just for whipping around your kitchen, your living room, taking it up the stairs, cleaning your stairs with the motorized head, I think it'll be pretty good just as a secondary cleaner or maybe even a caravan cleaner, mobile home possibly, but not, definitely not a substitute for a full-sized mains powered cleaner. I have to say I was expecting to find this AEG CX7 vacuum cleaner to be pretty mediocre until I started using it and the more tests I did the more this little lightweight machine impressed me. It certainly does a better job on pet hair than the Bosch cordless machine I tested recently on my channel. 
Yeah, I really like it. It's very, very light. It's got the advantage of being both an upright and a handheld unit. It also will stand up on its own, although it is a little bit dodgy when you leave it to stand on its own, but it does self-stand. And of course, it just charges up in the charging base. There's no bending to plug anything in. You just pop it on the base to charge. You don't have to screw it to the wall. All in all, as long as you keep the filter clean, you can see it's full of the dog hair, keep the filter clean, make, you know, at least once a fortnight, give it a, a thorough tap and um, a wash, maybe once a month, and it will maintain the suction. There's still runtime left. I've been doing a lot of demonstrations. We've still got charge in the battery. Still showing two bars, which is pretty impressive. And this head, although the hair does wrap around it, it's pretty good as well. The addition of a flexible hose makes this machine more versatile, especially inside the car. And of course you've got this extra long crevice tool for all your nooks and crannies. The brush roll clean feature did work. It took a while to work, but it did keep the brush roll clean. And it's, as I said, it's very nice to use. It feels like a quality machine. And I quite like this bronze and gold finish. You don't see many vacuum cleaners in this sort of color these days. And I'm thinking if you're someone of limited mobility, even if you're in a wheelchair and you want to maintain a clean home and don't want to rely on other people pushing a big heavy vacuum, this is so light. I mean, it's light as a whole unit. I can hold it at arm's length, but it's so light in the hand. You've got the controls here. I can see someone who can't stand up, who's, who's maybe confined to a wheelchair, being able to grab this off the charging dock and help keep their home clean. It's very, very light. Most cordless cleaners have all the weight up high, but the weight is down low on this. What little weight there is, it's easy to push. It's very flexible. All in all, I think it's a fantastic little machine far better than I was expecting. As I said, the only proviso with this sort of machine is keep the filter clean. You might want to, to buy a spare filter in case you have to wash your main one and then you've got a spare to pop in. But all in all, very surprised with this machine. Um, I did, did buy this myself. I'm not sponsored by AEG. So this is my honest opinion, my initial reaction. But as I said, being a bagless machine, very small capacity, you will have to empty it, I expect, after each use. And probably just tap the filter on the edge of your bin as well, just to maintain the suction. If you have any comments or questions about this AEG vacuum cleaner, please comment below. You can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, and you'll see some behind the scenes footage and odd photos and things that I don't show on my YouTube channel. So, yeah, it's a thumbs up, I have to say, for this. I wasn't expecting it to be, but all in all, it's a pretty competent little vacuum cleaner. Bye for now, and I'll see you all very soon for the next video.